So you have created a survey and you're ready co to collect data. Now, what you need to make sure is that people provide you with quality data. And you can do that in several ways. One way is to include careless responder checks. I have an example here. Careless responder checks could be, please select agree. And you filter out all the participants later, when you, after exporting the data, who haven't selected agree. You can also include reversed questions, such as, I like to skate and I do not like to skate. If people select not agree to both questions, it is quite possible that they haven't been reading the questions well, so they have been careless. These could be reasons to remove participants from your dataset. In addition to that, you can also include timing questions. Now let me show you how to add those to your questionnaire. You go, you add a new question, and then you scroll down and you select timing question. Let's read this. This question lets you record and manage how long a participant spends on this page. This question will not be displayed to the participant. So now on this page where these three questions are shown, uh, Qualtrics will track how long a participant spends here on these three questions. And this happens just without the participant being aware of this. And later you can determine that if somebody spent uh, a very short amount of time on a page with a lot of questions, that they could have been careless in responding and remove them from the data set. You can also use this, for example, with um, uh, when you have instructions or videos in your survey. So let's add a timing question here with the video and we track how long a participant spends here. If they spend less time than the video is actually long, then it's likely that they were also careless and they just skipped ahead. However, we can also use the timing question in a different way. We can tell it to delay showing the submit button for, for example, 30 seconds. That means that participants cannot go to the next page until 30 seconds have passed of them spending on this page. If the video is, for example, 30 seconds, at least they will have to spend the uh, amount of time that the video is long on the page and um, hopefully watch the video. You can also show a timer to let the participants know how long they've spent on the page and include some instructions such as please spend uh, watch the video, it is 30 seconds. After that time has passed, you can advance to the next page. Now, lastly, I want to talk about adding a bot question. Usually you do those um, include those at the beginning of your survey and they tend to be just simple text entry questions. You click here, write a question, okay, and now I've included this question. Bots have a difficult time reading questions that include numbers. What are the first, uh, what is the first letter of the month after February? Obviously the right answer is M and from March, um, and most people will know that, practically everybody. However, when you use panel services such as MTurk or Prolific, um, they are uh, these services are known to have programs on them that complete as many surveys as possible with random data. Um, and these programs tend to not be able to understand these questions and will provide you with a different letter. So you can then later on identify those um, likely program entries in your data set and remove them or you can immediately um, make those programs exit your survey and I'll talk about how you can do that next with the survey flow.